All right, what's up, people? DJ Kevy Kev. As you can see, if you never noticed, this is the QSC KW181 amp assembly. That's the whole unit. This is the QSC K12. It's all intact. I ain't take it out. But I had a conversation with a gentleman and he was talking about that it's two amps in here. And I try to be pleasant as I can be and tell him, no, it's not. It's a thousand watts. Same as the KW181. Thousand watts. Real brief. It's one amp only. This side is for your microphone. Okay? For your microphone. This side is for your input. You know, or your signal. Okay? For your signal. It gives you the ability to run your signal into your drive rack, your mixer, or your mix board to open up if you want to run a mic, say for instance, during a wedding. You can plug your microphone in and you can use your phono jack for your iPod or your laptop. Okay, so this would be your volume for your microphone. Mic, that's your line if you're not using the microphone. If you ever plug this up, in A, and you had the microphone on, it was real loud and too loud, which means if you continue to do that, you can blow the amp or blow the fuse that's inside. So always make sure that you have it online. I'm a fan of QSC. Now, with that being said, it's best to use line B for your signal and only use A for your mic. Now, don't get me wrong. You can use both. You can use your A for your signal if you choose to. It's okay. You're not going to do no damage. But this guy was telling me he was jumping from here, from here to here. Almost to say he was jumping it like this. I'm only working with one hand. But y'all got the idea. This is what this is what he was saying he was doing to get a full sound. Now, with that being said, I asked him. Let's see if I can get that in there. That's how he was running it. Now, I asked him, how was your volume? He said he was running 9 and 9. 9 o'clock, if you go by your clock. That would be 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2, 3, so forth. So he said he was running 9 o'clock, and he got a little deeper bass. I said, dude, you crazy. You will blow your system in a matter of time. You got the volume at 9 o'clock. What difference would it make if you just run 1 and make your volume to, say, 3 o'clock? You're still going to get a good, clean sound once again remember you have deep you had normal and then you got your external sub if you're running a uh, sub of any kind that's power he's trying to tell me it's two amps no dog it's not if you do it that way out of this thousand watts that's in this unit if you're using 
this side for your your signal and using this side for your microphone for which you can make the adjustments to you only going to use on this side just hypothetically maybe about a hundred watts if that the other nine is going to come from this side to be powered okay now same thing same guy we was having a conversation just me doing some routine maintenance on a on a unit that I I rented out um, I took the liberty to open up he did the same thing on his sub he said he said nah I can run I can double I can double in like this and I got good sound and I asked him again what was your volume he said he had his volume at nine and it had a thump to it okay I said well once again it's only a thousand watts in here and it's not two amps in this unit what's the difference if you put one signal and put it on deep if you can see you can put it on deep and turn your volume up based on if you run in a dry rack you run in a mixer of some kind I say you want to go ahead and jump it feel free but it's not rock amended not it's not once again it's only a thousand watts in these units and I said I told him I said I will make a video and I will post it this is what's inside of this unit there's only one motherboard and the board up here for your signal connection okay that's your fuse this is where your fuse is, is at. That's where your fuse is at. As you can see, if it was two amps in here, it'd be two motherboards in here. The same thing that you're looking at right here in the 181 is also in the K12. Also. And the K10 and the K8 that is what's inside so feel free if you want to double or jump your speakers like so and thinking you're getting the best you're getting the wrong signal you're getting the wrong signal. They are not made to jump into each other. Now you may say, yeah, you can plug one and then you can go from here to another sub to daisy chain. Yes, you can do that. Same way when you plug into your top and you daisy chain into your sub that is correct you can do that you put it on external sub which is this is my sub unit okay this automatically will do a crossover of its own so that there's no base coming out of your K12 or your top and you will be able to get all the sub or base out of your 181 correct way all right 
wrong way of jumping inside of each other. That is a no-no. So, to the gentleman that I talked to, hopefully this gets to you. So this way you are know and understand that there are not two amps in here. Because if it was two amps in here, it would be two motherboards. And sure enough, this unit, this whole unit will be much, much bigger if it was two amps in there. It would be much bigger if it was two amps. Real quick. Identical. In size. Thousand watts. Thousand watts. Only one amp. In each. There's one amp in each. This is for your mic. This is for your signal. Once again... You can also use a side as a signal, signal as long as you have it online. I believe some people understand that and get that theory. These are your phono jacks if you need to run an iPod or so. That's the volume for that. But you are not, I repeat, do not. We've paid too much money for these speakers. For somebody to think that you can jump inside of the speaker, jump as so, and think that you're getting the best out of your speaker when you're running it at 9 o'clock. If you want to run it, feel free. I personally don't recommend it. The people at QSC don't recommend it because it's not right. It's totally wrong. So hopefully this was educational and informational to some of y'all. Once again... As you can see, I'll open it up once again, one more time. There's not two amps in this unit whatsoever. There's not two amps in these units. So, hopefully that was clear enough for some of y'all out there who think, hey, Obviously, you wasn't thinking for me to do this. All right. Peace.